Hello Vinyl Community. Uh, I thought I'd continue a little bit uh, my last video by um, having a look at, uh, at uh, the Japanese perspective on uh, new jazz in the 90s and late 90s. Um, so I'd like to start with this uh, compilation which is called Jazz Combosa. This is an, a very early example of sort of a jazz house uh, new jazz uh, music. Um, I think in Japan it came out in 1993 but it was re-released on 99 records three years later and uh, yeah it, it has some uh, names on it already that uh, would become quite prominent in the new jazz scene mostly Nobukazu Takemura and DJ Matsuoka but there's a whole bunch of bands that are basically completely forgotten by now, like Arco Iris or Gleeps and... Um, but um, it's a nice album with uh, very mellow jazzy tracks on it. And uh, I kind of like it. Uh, this here is, uh, is a 12 inch by DJ Matsuoka that I just mentioned, which came out on Compost. So you probably already recognize this uh, this uh, arrow shaped uh, 12 inch design by the compost records. I showed some of them yesterday. Um, this is also a, a compost EP featuring tracks by Jezanova but remixed by Japanese artists by Kyoto Jazz Massive and Yukihiro Fukutomi. Uh, now um, I think a good starting point for uh, Japanese uh, new jazz music would be this compilation um, called the Kyoto Jazz Massive, which uh, came out in the mid uh, 90s on the 99 Records. And this is a great, uh, great album. Um, nice label here. Um, Certainly a good starting point for Kyoto Jazz Massive to become a group of their own. I mean, this is a very typical process for uh, the DJ culture of the culture of the 90s. I think um, you start uh, as somebody who plays music on on venues. Uh, you continue to be someone that starts to remix, to change, to manipulate. But of course, the natural logical step is to create your own music sooner or later. Which is exactly the direction that Kyoto Jazz Massive went by putting out this seminal album, Spirit of the Sun, which could be argued is maybe one of the most important new jazz records out there. Now, of course, uh, this is a double album, and uh, if you look inside the gatefold with all the photos, so this is a major step away from uh, basically doing just uh, music on your computer uh, towards a uh, large uh, production scale. Now in the heart of the project is of course the Okino Brothers, which is uh, Shuya Okino and Yoshihiro Okino, as you can see here. Um, yeah, so that's a wonderful album. So even, even if you are not explicitly into new jazz, you may find this interesting or exciting. Now Child's View is an album by Nobukazu Takemura, which I had mentioned before because he was also on the uh, Jazz Gombosa compilation. Um, now this is a double album, uh, so um, I mean a real double album, not only a double 12 inch. Uh, so there's a lot of music on it. Um, this is a very in parts very soft-spoken, very, very sophisticated uh, uh, new jazz style. Uh, yeah, so this is a, another great record to listen from time to time. This came out also on 99. Um, yeah, and finally I have this one here. This is Mondo Paradiso, and their 12-inch Fallen Angel. So this is also, a, it's not directly a new jazz, it's more of a down-tempo, uh, sort of a jazzy, uh, 
house sound, jazz house, you could maybe call it if you like. Uh, Ramondo Paradiso is uh, is a tag work between uh, Muzia Fujimoto and Jazz Bailey. And that's it for now. And um, keep spinning. Bye bye.